Mr. Boyd, what action did your executive board take toward endorsing a 6th district congressional candidate? Well, Jim, our state executive board doesn't uh, endorse candidates for congressional races until the people in that district have made their choice. This morning at 10 a.m., the COPE committee of the 6th district appointed a subcommittee to meet with the two candidates and interview them further, ask further questions, and we'll report back to the meeting on September the 27th. And we, of course, then will go along with our people from the 6th district in whichever choice of candidate they make. Well, what did you do about endorsing a candidate for the Senate? Well, certainly this is a tough problem uh, in a way. Our members are made up of people from all over the state. We reviewed Senator Byrd's record on 16 important issues concerning Social Security, workman's compensation, unemployment compensation, minimum wage. Senator Byrd has voted wrong 15 out of 16 times against the working people. On issues concerning rural electrification, in 31 votes he's voted wrong 28 times. We therefore felt that the working people should do everything possible to support the independent candidate, Dr. Louise Winslow, for U.S. Senator. And so you endorse, so we endorse and hope and we'll do whatever thing possible to have us a new senator.